Hi, I'm Everett Young and I specialize in teaching older learners the guitar. And this week I'm adding Penny Lane, my Beatles favorite, to my acoustic set. And it occurred to me while I was uh, working it out that it's actually a really great song for intermediate guitarists to learn. I, I consider myself sort of a, an intermediate guitarist. And it's a great song for intermediate guitarists to learn because it helps you work on a lot of really cool stuff. So I'm going to show you how I play Penny Lane by the Beatles. No. Okay, so the song is in B major and we want to play it in the original key here. I, I just would like to do that. There may be easier keys to play it in, but um, probably probably D major would be easier. But I'm going to play it in B major just, uh, just like it was written. And it has this neat descending bass line. Dun, dun, do, 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 do. So you can hear that in your head, right? The descending bass line is really important. On Penny Lane, there is a barber showing photographs Of every head he's had the pleasure to have known Okay, so we really want to get that descending bass line going in right there. So it's, that's a B, a A sharp, um, G sharp, F sharp, E, C sharp, F sharp, F sharp, bum, 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 bum. So I'll try and get my finger out of the way so you can see where that goes. Okay, so now we want to play a chord along with that. So I'm going to play, I'm going to play the uh, this shape right here. Um, a lot of guitarists play this shape of a major chord right here to start. It's just a simple B major chord. Now my my uh, finger will not bend backwards, so I actually have to. Just lay it flat. This finger right here, my third finger, will not bend backwards. So I just lay it flat like that. Or sometimes I use my pinky down low on the neck. Okay, so in fact, my pinky is the best finger to use here because I'm gonna now leave this chord in place and I'm just gonna walk that bass note down from there to there. Okay, and then I wanna keep this chord, which is I'm, I'm plucking with my right hand strings two, three, and four. I want to keep that the same, but I want this note. So now I'm going to have just a straight bar here where I'm not going to pluck the A string. So we've got... Okay, and now I'm going to have this shape again, except instead of playing uh, B major, I'm going to play F sharp in the bass and still pluck strings two, three, and four. Okay, so that I've got that much now, keeping these three strings barred. The two strings two, three, and four are barred. So, okay. Now, for the E major chord, the next chord it's going to go to the four chord of B, which is E major, and I could just play a straight B major shape, but I'm only plucking the E string and right here the D, G, and B strings. Um, so I don't need, I'm not even plucking the A string, so I don't really need to make the entire E major shape because that A string's not even being played and in fact it's going to be really convenient for me to just play these two notes of E major on the third and fourth string. Okay, so here's my E major chord and the reason is because I want to keep my pinky free to come up here and get this C sharp, which is my next bass note. And you can see, if I play these three strings here, this is uh, the now I'm playing the A string, C sharp, and on the G uh, on the D string, I'm uh, I'm playing E, and then on the G string I'm playing D sharp, G sharp rather, and that is just a straight major chord and open, I've got the open B string to make a complete C sharp minor seven. Okay, um, and now from there, uh, I'm sorry, from, from there, I can make an F sharp sus seven chord. And that's made with F sharp, and again I'm skipping the A string, and uh, on the D string, I'm playing E, and 
then there uh, on the G string, a G sharp, which is another way of putting that is that's a E major over F sharp. So this is what the whole thing looks like. Okay, so it goes. In Penny Lane, there is a barber showing photographs of every head he's had the pleasure to. And then you're just going to play a straight B minor 7 here. N no. So, let's do that again. Penny Lane, there is a barber showing photographs of every head he's had the pleasure to know. Okay, and I'll cover more of it later. From there we're going to go to a, to a half diminished chord or a, a minor 7 flat 5 and then and then a major 7. So, at full speed, on Penny Lane there is a barber showing photographs of every head he's had the pleasure to know. And all it's really a terrific exercise for learning to walk your bass line around while do, figuring out what to do uh, to fill in the rest of the chord above that. Uh, and actually it includes one of my favorite chords, which is that sus7 chord, uh, like an E major over F sharp or an A major over B or something like that. Uh, those sus7 chords are really, really useful, and I'll talk about how to make that chord in another tip pretty soon. Thanks.